Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of our Scorpio week is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that we need to face here throughout the week, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles. Then what we do have it is the positive aspect of the week and we do have the Ace of Wands and the last one which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to, your, to us, that will be the Tower card. Very, very interesting one. Um, so before we go into all that, let's uh, count down the cards one more time, guys. First one, which is the topic here, Nine of Cups. Afterwards, we do have the challenges of the Ten of Pentacles. Then it is the Ace of Wands, which represents the positive aspect. And the last one, the Tower card, stands for the guidance. All right, so Nine of Cups. Well, it will be quite of a, uh, uh, it will be a week filled with quite of a sensual joy. The accompanied card here, it is the Ten of Swords, formation, passive, um, passive neutrals so sensual joy it is because we have avoided a a pretty damn i i can't say really disaster but it's more like a very unfortunate and mispleasant situation so something we how do i say it uh, a circumstances or a situation that could have been a colossal failure that could have been a, a very detrimental to uh, to our life simply have eluded us and uh, for that reason we don't have to take a participation yet we can all right so it is entirely up to us so uh, we get to decide for example should we go for a divorce should we uh, leave our job and etc etc but the point is, is that because we are going to have the luxury of making that decision, decision that will fill our, like I said, environment with a essential joy. And at some point, we may even feel that our wish have been fulfilled. The wish not to end up in a, such a bad spot as we originally strayed towards uh, back in the days. For example, a few days beforehand, right? But the point here, it is that this blessing that we are going to have of avoidance of a disaster, it's uh, something that we need to work upon, all right? It's something that we shouldn't take for granted. It is something that it requires our tribute, if you, uh, you want to say, uh, say it that way. So if someone helped you to go that way, give your appreciation to them, all right? Or if something allow you to, uh, to have the 
to maintain the control over your fate, honor it in a way that you feel appropriate toward the situation. But either way, Scorpio, or for us, Scorpio, these two cards are pointing that our circumstances are to improve significantly. They are going to simply blow our minds in comparison to our expectations, okay? So if you have expected that you will have poverty next week, well, guess what? something is going to happen that will save you from this uh, from this doom. You thought that you were going to end up your relationship or your girlfriend is going to end up your relationship this week. Well, that will not going to happen. It's because something else appeared that swayed their mind and you get the luxury to do it for them if you decide to do so. But the thing is that... Uh, like I said, our uh, circumstances are to improve drastically and dramatically as well. And that will give us leverage, okay? But in the same time, we shouldn't take those blessings for granted. Now, uh, the next one, it is about the challenges that we need to overcome. That will be the Ten of Pentacles accompanied with the Knight of Pentacles. So these are quite so very uh, long-lasting challenges. First thing I want to say, we do have a passive supporters here. And uh, one of the challenges is going to reside into what to do with all that power because being able to make decisions, it's, uh, it corresponds with power because afterwards you have to take the consequences of those decisions. So we may lack determination, that is what I am trying to say here. And also it's going to be challenging for us to jump out of dependency from certain situations or from certain people as well. Simplicity also is going to be a challenge. We need to keep the things, or we need to maintain the KISS principle, which is keep it simple and stupid. That is also could be, that also could be something um, challenging for us. And the last thing that is gonna be challenging for us guys is uh, <coughs> the lack of blame. Um, or the the build-up of blame that we are going to have against other people or against the situations, all right? Because um, how do I say it? Um, well, it goes like that. We don't know why someone decided in favor of them or in favor of someone else or why someone is basing their is is base is basing their decisions in a certain way we may try to find out but before we actually have the full picture we shouldn't pass sentences it goes like this you know many people who are uh, who are alive deserve death and many people who are death deserve life well can we give it to them no of course not. So we shouldn't rush to pass judgment. That is important thing. And we may be quick into that. All right. So someone, uh, someone angry is us. Oh, you are a moron. Oh, you are an uh, asshole, for example, and et cetera, et cetera. Or kind of like uh, adopting this uh, standpoint where we completely ignore them or rather like a, uh, um, proclaim them as a something. It's uh, as a, some sort of a, um, a state. Okay, that should not be something we need to uh, we need to consider or stand behind throughout this week. But rather, be more humble. It is uh, it is my point. And don't forget, Scorpio, simplicity and consistency. Consistency. It is the recipe for success for us. Then the next one is going to be the positive aspect of the week. And that will be the page, the Ace of Wands accompanied with the Strength cards. Uh, quite often an uh, explosive combination is what we do have here. That is a pa active uh, friends, excuse me. So these two cards are pointing for about a very enthusiastic, gaining for enterprise we will have the luxury to uh to involve ourselves with and an enterprise which not necessarily is going to go smooth but that is going to be the beauty of it all right because it's going to create quite a, a chaos around us a, a creative chaos around us through which 
we are to find out what we are capable of, for example, or we are to figure out a new ways to make money, we are going to end up in new social circles to find our next potential partner and so on and so forth. The thing here, however, is that we shouldn't burn out. That is the, the danger from these two cards. That we're going to be so enthusiastic and so into this thing, we may lose interest very, very quickly if we give ourselves to the hyperactivity, okay? So take it slowly, be simple. That's the whole point. Be simple and keep the things in a stupidly simple fashion. But uh, also with these two cards, we may be a bit quick to temper as well, especially with that Ace of Wands to the uh, to the Strength cards. And uh, the, the worst thing here is that we may not know where this temper is coming from. That is the worst. But the best thing about this temper is that it's going to intimidate especially our enemies or our rivals, which are going to leave us alone and are not going to question our actions nor are going to dispute our decisions. And the last card for us, Scorpio, is going to be about the guidance, and that is the Tower card, and it is accompanied by the Four of Cups. Um, but I don't know how to explain it, really. Uh, we do have an active, uh, 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 active enemies here. And so it's about breaking the taboo, all right? It's uh, I will try to describe it that way. So you do fa you you have a wall in front of yourself, and everything behind that wall that you are finding yourself at, it's boring, it's annoying, it's you did it countless times, okay? And it gives you no pleasure, and you have that chance to bring down the wall, to destroy the wall with this gaining full opportunity, which also gonna play a role into the new circumstances, which are to improve your personal circumstances throughout the week or our circumstances throughout the week. So bring down the wall, destroy the wall that probably you set for yourself. Of course, as with the tower card, it's uh, it will require some sacrifices, it will require some give ups from certain endeavors or from certain habits, habits, you know, maybe people as well. But it's necessary. So you can, uh, you can expand your domain. So you can expand your castle, if I may express myself that way. And um, how do I say it and uh, nurture your life because as the tower always appears with rather unpleasant symptoms, it always goes by um, toward a um, nurturing and nourishing effect for the life as whole. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our weekly tarot reading September 23rd to September 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. I sure did. You know, it is uh, it is quite of an, an exhilarating time. I do expect something quite beautiful to happen to me with these cards. That will require, like I said, you know, to... Um, to give up on something else, but uh, I do believe that this new enterprise is going to completely overshadow the old uh, the old prospects, and I will not care. Okay, I will simply not care about what I'm giving up because it's gonna be irrelevant to me anymore. At least looking at these cards. All right, so yeah, that was our reading, and uh, we're going to see each other uh, next time. Until then, bye.